Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 19. Today we're going to dive into our referrals applet and start talking about how we can find agents nationally and internationally to send referrals to or build a network in hopes of receiving referrals from and vice versa. So let's go over to our referrals applet icon. It's our fifth one down here. It kind of looks like a pin on a map. We're going to click on that pin icon and it's going to open up our referrals dashboard. Now we haven't done anything in referrals yet. You may be the same way. So there's not a lot going on here. You can see that it would typically show us any referral invites that we have, any that we have pending that have been sent and yet not accepted, any that we have received and we've accepted, and any that have been sent and accepted. We would also see our entire referral network, which would be agents that we had sent invites to and they had accepted those. Along the top, we've got four tabs. So we have the My Referrals tab. That's gonna take us into a more detailed view of referrals that we have sent and received and what their status is, whether they're pending or active, whether they've actually funded and closed, whether we lost the referral, whether they expired, canceled, or rejected. You can also see that you can create new referrals from each of these tabs. So both from the dashboard and from my referrals. If we're still looking for a partner to refer business to, we have a really cool map feature. So you can see in the map, this is gonna give us a view of the US. Now mine is sort of centered on Houston because I'm right outside of Houston and Katie. I believe it centers where you are, or maybe everyone's map looks like mine. I'm not 100% certain there. But if you are looking for an agent, and let's just say <clears throat> you're looking for an agent in Katy, Texas, you could certainly search by production level in Katy. And when you do, you're gonna get a bunch of pins on the map that represent closed transactions by a Keller Williams agent, either on the buy side or sell side within the last 12 months. The map typically starts off real wide. These red dots are singular transactions. The green dots are clusters of transactions. If you know that the uh, people that you are looking to refer the business to are gonna be in and around Cinco Ranch, you can start to zoom in. And you can see as I zoom in, less green dots, more red dots. And on the right hand side, we start to get a list of the agents that are featured on this map. Now we can filter that list of agents. You can see right now it is randomly filtered, but I can click on that and you can see that I can do closed units in this area alone and what that looks like. We could do closed units in total, but only the 133 agents showing, right? So rank these 133 by closed agents in total. I can also go in and say, hey, I'm referring a listing. So I need someone that's done a lot of listings sold, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it's a buy side transaction. Maybe I want to focus more on buy side transactions. I can go also in and say, hey, I need someone that features leases. So anywhere you are, as you zoom in, zoom out, you can click and drag the map to readjust and you'll see that that list of agents is going to continue to change and your sort, right? You can decide how you want to do that sort as you go through. <clears throat> there are a couple things to note on the list here as well. So if your agent is a luxury agent, it's gonna show luxury agent. If your team is a solo uh, agent, you'll see there's no team listed below. However, if they do have a team, you'll see the team listed there. You can also click on any one of those agents. I'm gonna click on my friend Sheila's name and it's gonna open up their bio inside of Connect. Now we are in the transition process right now with a lot of data into Connect. So I've seen this hang up a couple of times but you also have the ability to click the arrow next to the person's name, and you're gonna get phone number, email, any additional language that they speak, closed units in this area, total closed units, listings sold, buy side, leases, sales volume, and average deal size. So let's say Sheila is someone that I want to connect with. I can send Sheila a request, right? Oh, excuse me, I clicked on the wrong button. First, let's send Sheila a request to join my network. Hey, Sheila, it's Marty, uh, would love to spell things right, would love to work with you in the future. And you may want to be more detailed, right? Sheila and I know each other, so sending an invitation like this is not going to be a big deal. But if it was someone you didn't know, you may want to have a little bit more of a bio about you, right? I serve the greater Katy area, I've been in real estate since 2013, I've closed over 260 transactions, etc., etc. 
Uh, but you can go ahead and send that invitation. Now, if you already know, right right now, I'm just growing my referral network. But if I know that I want to send Sheila that referral, I can just click on the second button, which you saw that open. And then I have the ability to send it to Sheila. I can tell her whether it's a buy side, sell side, tenant or landlord transaction. If there's any referral fee attached, what I'm requesting there. The acceptance deadline, how long I'm going to give her to respond before I need to move on to the next agent. I can give her a price point minimum and maximum, a, a kind of a ballpark of what they're looking to buy or sell. I can also add notes. All of this information will be public and available for her to read prior to accepting the referral. Anything down below, however, will be hidden until she accepts the actual referral. And this is where I can send over my client's information. So let's say Mickey's looking to buy or maybe it's Minnie that was looking to buy. I could send over Minnie's information. You can see it's going to pull that information from my contact database. We didn't have an address for Minnie, but we did have her name. We have phone number. We had email. I would add in the desired location where she's looking to buy and then her transaction timeline and I could send that over. That referral request, oops, let's see, she's looking in Katie. All right, so we're gonna send that referral request. <clears throat> That's gonna go ahead and get sent over to Sheila for acceptance, uh, the data attributes. Oh, so <laughs> it can actually tell that we have a fake email address. That's pretty funny. Uh, so I'm not gonna change that because I don't want to inadvertently send an email to someone that may have that email. But if you had the correct email, that would send over to the person you were looking to make that referral connection with. They would have however many hours you gave them to respond, and then that would show up inside both your dashboard and your My Referrals. <clears throat> Another thing to be aware of, let's say, all right, I can't quite decide. There's all these amazing agents in Cinco Ranch, um, and I'm gonna kind of zoom in. I know that they want to be um, right in the heart of Cinco, uh, right around that office. So. Um, let's go down to here. I can also say, hey, you know what? Um, I'm gonna filter this a little bit further. So I can click on this button up here at the right-hand side and say, let's do some additional filters, right? So it's gotta be, uh, you know, I want someone a little bit more experienced. Let's say they've closed at least six units in the last 12 month period. Um, and the, in this area, right? In this specific area, I'm really looking for someone that features this area. I don't even know if that's gonna come back with anyone. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, okay, great. So 111 agents have closed at least six units in this area in the last 12 months, so that's good. Uh, we could do an additional filter where we said, hey, it's a listing. Um, let's find someone really experienced. So at least 12 listings sold, apply that filter. That's gonna whittle it down some. There we go, now we've got 46, but golly, there's so many great agents. I can also do what's called a broadcast referral. That's here at the top. I can click broadcast referral and what that's going to do, I can choose whether I want to show my name to all of these agents or not. So show my identity or not. And then you can send out all of the information just like you did for the regular referral. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna send this referral request to 46 individuals. They're all going to have an opportunity to reply and then from there, you can choose, based upon the replies that you receive, who to award your referral to. So that's a broadcast referral. Now, the limit is 100. So if you see this grayed out, I don't know if you noticed, let's clear the filter. Uh, we had over 100 here and I can't do a broadcast referral. So typically, <clears throat> if you're gonna do a broadcast referral, you're most likely gonna have to filter down the agents. Maybe you're down to 10, right? Let's just say, um, maybe it's a Spanish speaking lead. Right, so I'm gonna come in and say, hey, I need someone that speaks Spanish. Let's see what that does. Now that takes us down to 21, right? But that's still 21 great agents. So in this case, I'm gonna do a broadcast referral. And there you go, I can send that out to the entire group of 21. So that's the map. You can also, so we searched by production. I did wanna show you one other thing. If you don't, uh, if you're just looking for market centers, right? I know they work in the KD area, but I'm not sure where exactly. If you do market centers, you're gonna get a list. And in this case, we put in Katy. There's actually two market centers in the Katy area. We have a market center in Sugarland, a couple as we get closer into Houston. There's actually about 13 in the greater Houston area. So if you have someone that's saying, hey, I'm relocating to the Houston area, you might wanna have a little bit further conversation because then it's a matter of, well, that's a big area and a whole lot of agents. Okay, cool, they're looking to move to Katy. Great, I need a good Katy agent. I can click on this market center, right? Just make sure that your filters aren't still in place because now it looks like we only have 42 agents 
when in fact we have closer to 300. So we're gonna clear that filter. And now you'll see 297 agents. You can see all the agents in that market center. Again, you can click on any one of them and get all of their stats, all of their languages, all of their deal size information. You could choose to just grow your network by sending them all requests, or you could actually send them referrals directly to that agent, have them accept that, and then track that in the My Referrals or Dashboard tab. That's a brief overview of referrals. Come back tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you a really important and powerful tool inside of the Referrals applet. That is the uh, migration and or referral patterns which can be a really powerful tool when you're sitting at the listing appointment. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.